What's up guys, Nick Daly here back, and today we're going to be talking about the Knicks potentially making a trade for Rudy Gobert, but before we do that, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, I upload every single day on the New York Knicks, if that's your type of content, then you've come to the right place. For this video, you guys know, I, I don't make videos if it doesn't make sense, and Rudy Gobert, I'm not saying that I want him in New York, but I can certainly see a point. He's won three Defensive Player of the Year awards. And I know you're thinking, well, in the playoffs, how come teams statistically are better offensively against the Utah Jazz? And the reason for that isn't Rudy Gobert. If you look at the film, guys are constantly blowing by their defenders, and Gobert will collapse. And sure, he's giving, open a, giving up a wide open three, but there's another defender that's supposed to rotate out to the three-point line. I mean, the Jazz have just been lackadaisical. Donovan Mitchell is one of those players. One of the reasons why I actually don't want Donovan Mitchell in New York is because of that. I don't know if he can really elevate his game when it matters most, if he can be a number one option on the Knicks for a championship level basketball team. I don't think he can. But Rudy Gobert, he doesn't need to be that type of player. I mean, the Knicks were 11th in defense last season. He would certainly propel them to a top 10, probably top five defense. He's going to cost us Derrick Rose, who, sure, Derrick Rose healthy was a huge reason why the Knicks over exceeded expectations last season but also Derrick Rose can't stay on the court and he's not a starting point guard if you think Derrick Rose is a starting caliber NBA point guard I mean obviously you've been living under her rock because he's not even if, even if he's healthy like Derrick Rose is best coming off the bench as a six man and then you can start a menu quickly that's how they should do it and that's how I'd imagine the Knicks will do it unless they go out and get a point guard but so we're giving up Derrick Rose so I don't really care Evan Fournier, who we signed to a deal, he did set the Knicks franchise record for three-pointers, but he also shot, what, 40% from the field, and he's a poor defender. So losing Evan Fournier doesn't matter. And this is where I'm kind of turned off. Cam Reddish is a scoring machine. He's super young. I want to say he's 22 at the top, man. He might be 23, but he's in his early 20s. We didn't get to see Cam Reddish too much because Thibodeau refused to play him. Thibodeau didn't want him, so it was a miscommunication. But I'd imagine Cam will play a bigger role next season because the Knicks need a, a, a small forward. They've got R.J. Barrett and Emmanuel quickly, but they don't have a small forward. I, obviously, Fournier is there, but I don't know how much longer he'll be here, and he'd be in the trade anyway. And so will Cam Reddish, so we're actually losing both of our small forwards. And then two first-round picks. I don't know whose picks those are. I'm sure one would be Dallas, maybe one would be ours. I do see both sides of this. Honestly, if the Knicks made this trade, I wouldn't hate it because Julius Randle, ugh, sounds gross saying, but Julius Randle and Rudy Gobert would be great because Rudy Gobert's an amazing defender. Julius Randle's good in offense. So having Gobert protect the rim, also, you know, Mano Quickly and RJ Barrett aren't the best defenders by any means. So to have a legit rim protector would propel the Knicks into the top 10. But still, I don't, Rudy Gobert isn't going to be the difference between the Knicks making a run if we got Rudy Gobert we'd make the playoffs we'd be a very tough team to beat in seven games but we might still lose in the first round I mean it's the same thing with Donovan Mitchell if we if they're losing in the first round why why would we not be I mean the east maybe but I mean look look at the teams in the eastern conference I, I just I don't think adding Rudy Gobert to our team right now helps us beat them it makes it, make it challenging like no team is going to go into the playoffs and be like we want the Knicks because I mean that is the Knicks defense is going to be insane they've got a bunch of young guys that are fearless like RJ and Emmanuel quickly Obi Toppin, I don't know what we do with Mitchell Robbins. or not bringing Mitch off the bench. Maybe we end up uh, sign-in trading. If, if we can somehow sign-in trade Mitchell Robinson to go get uh, like a Jalen Brunson type of player, I mean, wow, the Knicks would look really good. They'd look really good. But also, I, I don't think this is really, I don't think this will happen. I don't think it should happen. Would I like it? Yeah, I actually wouldn't mind this trade at all. If, if this happened, if I woke up tomorrow and this happened, I'd be pretty hyped. But also, again, like we can't be giving up Cam Reddish and two first round picks for what a 29 year old Gobert. He did average 16 15 to go with over two blocks in the regular season. And if you look at the postseason, Gobert, his numbers were, I mean, he averaged 12 points. So his points went down four. Uh, 13 rebounds, so about two, went down about two. And then his blocks, only one block a game in the postseason. So, I mean, that, that's actually pretty concerning i mean obviously dallas was using small lineups maxi kleba hit eight threes in one game i believe it was game two in the first round against gobert but again it's not necessarily gobert's fault because if if you're gobert and you're guarding guy in the corner in uh, donovan mitchell oh uh 
you know, Dorian Finney Smith's a good defender, but you know, somebody's man blows right by them. And this is in the film. I'm not just like making this out of my, you know, out of thin air. Like this, this is I was just watching the film from that series before I got on the video. And it, it wasn't Gobert's fault. Like I get Gobert, like, yeah, like stay in your man, but also like do you want to just keep giving up open layups? So if, if Gobert does come to the New York Knicks, Thibodeau's here. We're, like the, the Knicks could be really good, bro. They could. But also, like, we're giving up Cam, and we're basically giving up three firsts because we traded a first for Cam. And that, so three firsts for Gobert. I mean, I guess you can't really say that because, nah, 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 Cam Reddish and two first. Derrick Rose and Evan Fournier. The Knicks are getting the best player in this trade. The Knicks would win this trade, but long term, it actually could hurt us because we could have those picks in Cam. Like, imagine three years down the line. I mean, what's going to be more valuable? Rudy Gobert or the Knicks? Pack? Like, this would be great for the Jazz. You get Cam Reddish, who potentially has all-star you know, all potential. Two firsts, Rose and Fournier, who also can help Mitchell if he decides to stay, which I, he probably would. I mean, honestly, this is a great trade for Utah. I think it's a great trade for Utah and a good trade for the Knicks. It's, it, the Knicks win the trade, but it's only for, like, the first year or two. Like, after that, they... they if they don't do anything in those first two years. I mean, this would be a good trade for, like, a contender, but the Knicks aren't a contender. But honestly, like, when I made this, I was thinking, you know, it's kind of pointless. Like, you know, I'm going to get more comments than likes on this video, like, when I made the Russ one. But also, I think we need to start understanding both sides. Like, a lot of Knicks fans are like, you know, any rumor, any trade, I'm out. Like, no, like, we're trying to upgrade the roster. We're going to be smart about it. That's why I'm telling you guys, like, we shouldn't do this. But at the same time, there is benefits to this trade. I mean, the Knicks would go from the 11th ranked defense to easily they'd be in the top 10, probably top five. I mean, they're getting a three-time Defensive Player of the Year award winner in Rudy Gobert. I, I like it, but uh, I mean, yeah. Outside of that, I, I don't. I just I don't really see the Knicks. Uh, I mean, you do have to realize that like Gobert does have offensive limitations, so. Maybe that that's probably going to throw a lot of people off. Like, Gobert, I mean, he's just going to dunk, basically, and catch a lot. He's not really going to be able to like, do anything offensively. Uh, Mitchell Robinson is, what, 23? Yeah, Sims is 22. Mitchell Robinson is 23, so he's you know, six years younger. Honestly, like, Mitchell Robinson has Rudy Gobert potential. So, like, I think we're probably better off just paying Mitch and keeping our picks in cam. But, yeah, I just thought to make a video on this, man. Be real, you guys. But I hope you have a good rest of your day and let me know your thoughts on the video. Would you like to see Rudy Gobert in New York? I have a really bad feeling about this, but yeah, until next time, peace.